Hi and welcome to the next video in the series of RHCSA videos based on Red Hat 8. Today's video is going to be on access a shell prompt and issue commands with the correct syntax learning topic. So the shell prompt in uh, Red Hat 8 generally uh, is a bash or born again shell um, and on the uh, desktop version of uh, Red Hat you'll have the terminal which is a terminal emulator which will bring you to a shell you may have things like mini TTY but I don't think it's installed by default you'd have to install it but there's other, sh there's other um, shell emul uh, terminal emulators that are out there so the, the f there's a few simple commands that you should know that um, will help you uh, to navigate around in Red Hat. So the first one is um, PWD and that means print working directory. Press return and it can tell you where you currently are on, on the uh, system. So I'm in the slash home slash C England. Uh, so the in the uh, so on directories is actually a particular structure um, and if you have a look if you would do a df minus h this will list all the directories and uh, all the mounts <coughs> and you can see there's various mounts but the important one is this one is the uh, the root mount there may be ones for specific ones for slash home um, slash etc slash uh, opt etc uh, for in this case we've got just the the uh, this the slash, this slash is uh, mounted, and then we've got some other ones for dev, etc., and boot. But yeah, everything else is just mounted on that the the root directory or the uh, forward slash directory. So yeah, forward slash home. So it's the first directory home, and then the forward slash C England in this case, which is another directory. So so that df command just gives us. Uh, directory listing if we do a df minus h in most cases that's giving us a human readable format for that so you can see it's got available in, in gigabytes that's just a quick space um, one uh, space view which we'll do a clear on that and to clear the uh, terminal so that's to close the window so another good one is the cd command so that's change directory but how do you know where you want to go as a directory? So if, if you have no idea what directories are out there, uh, you're not going to be able to CD very far. So let's show you another uh, command first. And that is the ls command. Uh, this essentially lists files in a particular directory you're in, or if you specify a different directory, it'll, it'll list the files in that directory as well. So you just do an ls as a base, and you'll just get a, a base view here. Uh, what you can do is uh, uh, there's various uh, switches you can add on there or flags so it's you can do a minus and you can bundle multiple switches not every application supports this some applications want the the flags separate and some want them uh, are okay to have more than one the stuff like tar uh, for example uh, ls and, uh, is another good example of this so if we do ls minus l this is a long listing we get a bit more information again so we actually get in the uh, so there's quite a few bits of information actually here um, I'll just quickly go through here what we have so we've got marking this uh, here is all the permissions and information about the actual file so if you have a look here we've got a, a D which means a directory and then this is for the first one is read write execute and this will be for the user. So in this case, the user is C England. And then you have a read, write, execute again. And this is for the group, which funny enough is C England again. And then finally, this is other, this is anyone. So this is essentially open for reading and executing, but nothing else. There's no. Uh, there's no right to that particular file to a particular directory. One special thing to note about directories is to be able to open them you have to be able to have the execute permission essentially. 
what we do have is a one with a dash here so that's actually a file itself so it's, in this case we can see it's a zip file so that's why it's got a dash there again you've got the read write execute for the user and then we've got the a group and then finally we've got no permissions for anyone else there because it's got the dashes there so that's the ls minus l we've also then got an ls minus l in the h which you sh I showed you on the uh, df minus h command you've got that gives the human readable format for the file sizes so if I press enter again we get slightly more information you can see now you've got a value 33m for the uh, the zip file so it's 33 meg it makes sense hey um, and you'll see that the directories are generally pretty small you know, there's, there's, it depends on what information is stored about the directory but generally but they won't be very big at all because they're just directories uh, so one one I like to do is T which um, T R A so this gives a hell of a lot more information if you run this command so we've got a total of the directory and then we've got some sorting happening with the uh, the R so if you can see uh, the last edited file is the bash history not surprisingly because as you run any commands it stores in that dot bash dot history uh, which allows you to rerun commands uh, should need to rerun it again you've got the other uh, the other dot files so the, f the fact we're seeing these extra uh, files marked with a dot at the start is because of that a which means all so you can do an ls minus la some people do that and that will just list do a long list but also include all files including the dot files uh, the minus the h is giving that extra uh, command and the t I don't actually remember but this is a good point to rev review there and other command this is useful so if we just go into uh, hang on one second I just want to cover one more thing that's the the date modified I'll just show you that just double just d double confirm that it, uh, that's understood and that's the the date here so that's June 12 you know this time yep okay and then we just show you what the, we can do a man so this is given out a man page like a manual page so pretty much pretty much all commands should have this uh, so if you do a man on ls we should be able to find what exactly that t does I, I was one of those ones you just use constantly <laughs> you don't quite remember what it actually does so if we just go and find the T minus T flag, we're almost there. And that is, that is sorting by the modification time and the R is to reverse it. Okay, that makes sense. So, <clears throat> so we have here, so minus L is the long list, minus H is to give the human readable format for the file sizes, minus T is to give the modification time, minus R is to reverse it so the, the most recently modified file is at the bottom and minus A is to the long list so we can do any combination of the of those so minus LA like I said earlier and that just give a long list of those files but I generally go for the, the full one and you get everything then you've got your most recently edited file so if you're looking at logs for example you probably want the most recent edited log that's a, just an example um, Another good command is uh, yeah they've got the man they've got the also info. Let's do a clear again and just do an info on ls. So that actually gives you more information about the actual application itself, rather than you know just the the commands etc. This is more about how it works and what, what uh, options has as well. But it's, it's a bit more in depth than the general man, man page. Man page is just there to be a quick read, essentially. There's one more thing I want to show you for this video. It's also I mentioned earlier you can use the uh, ls command to look at other directories. So let's have a look at the pwd. So we're in this directory right now. So we can do a ls let's do one .htr, and then we can either start from the root and enter the whole. Oh, one quick thing, the quite nice thing is you can do double tab. 
and it will just list out quickly. Uh, so maybe you're looking for a particular directory, maybe I don't know documents. Uh, then you can just do a double tab to just quickly view what's there. So and a, a tab will just auto complete. Double tab will try to will list out everything that's there that matches. So if you type in D O, oops, D O. See, it'll just match the ones that are, are going to currently match, and you've got the, just the two options there. So I will go for it. It's got to download, and we've got no files in this heap. So I can do a let's just do a quick touch. It just creates a file, and we just call it test, for example. So that will create a file. So how do we know that file is there? So we just do another ls. But hang on, we know where we are right now, don't we? So if we do a pwd, we're currently in the home C England. So do we really need to type the whole directory out again? Obviously not. So what we can do is we can do an ls minus lhtr, and all we need to do is type in downloads like that. There we go. Awesome. So. Uh, we'll talk about uh, editing files and stuff like that in a later thing, but for, for a quick one we have to remove a file, it's just rm and file name. What I did miss? The directory. So, because I'm not actually seeding into that directory, we need to go in there. So, we can either do like with the ls command, is just do download slash and then test, or what I'll do is just uh, cd into this directory so cd downloads let's do a listing yeah there's our test file remove test okay so what we might want to do also is maybe copy the test file or put it somewhere else so let's let's do a touch of test again listing again cool so that test files there again so now let's do a copy so we can do test and do test 2 that's CP so just a copy got two tests now and then we can if we do a move which MV we do test again and we do test 3 Time. We don't have to test anymore because obviously moved. Yeah, and then just RM to remove those. You can do um, simple pattern matching against all of these commands like this. So you can do test star, and if we look again, all the files are removed. Same you can do with the MV and CP, etc. Again, if you're unsure on any of those commands, you can just do a man CP. And you get all the option, additional options if you want them. But you've got the synopsis at the very top, which will give you a quick one source test, etc. Right, that concludes this video. Uh, I hope it's been helpful. Um, please subscribe uh, to, the, to my channel. Uh, we're trying to release videos once or twice a week if I can. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.